Hello all, this is Sahana here with the topic Sex Determination in Melandrium. So, Melandrium album, uh, it is commonly called as White Champion Plant. So, this belongs to the family Caryophyllaceae. Now, Melandrium album has a synonymous name called Silene Latifolia. So, this is a dioecious species having separate male and female plants. Now, since this plant follows the chromosomal theory of sex determination, chromosomes determine the sex of the plants here. Now, coming to the chromosome number, in diploidy or in diploid condition, there are 12 pairs of chromosome that is being present, of which 11 pairs are called autosomes, that is the somatic chromosome, and one pair is allosome or sex chromosome. So, of this uh, sex chromosome the female plant will carry X and X chromosome which are similar and then the male plant carry two different sex chromosome that is X and Y. Now this Melandrium album is a model example for XXXY type of sex determination. So, as I said the female plant has two X chromosome hence it is called as homogametic while the male plant has one X chromosome and, and one Y chromosome. So, it is called as the male plant is called as or it is referred to as heterogametic here. Now, we are very well aware that in melandrium or in XXXY type or in any sex determination type in higher plants, there is a theory of heterogamesis that is being followed. So, in melandrium, the sex is also determined by heterogamesis, which means which of the parent carries heterogametes, that is two different gametes, they uh, determine the sex of the progeny. So that is the theory here. So what happens? Since the female plant is homogametic, they produce only one type of gamete, each carrying one X chromosome. And since the male plant is heterogametic, they produce two different types of gametes, uh, one with X chromosome and the other with Y chromosome. So, as I said, since there is two different gametes in male, they determine the sex of the progeny. Now, so this is a just a cross of a male and female plant here. These are the 11 pairs of autosomes and these are the one, uh, this is a one pair of sex chromosomes here. So, now in female, both the sex chromosomes are similar or same. So, when at the type of, at the time of gamete formation, there is only one type of gamete that is being produced with the X chromosome. While male gamete, this is heterogametic, so there is two different gametes that is being produced. Now, that being said, when a X carrying male gamete fertilizes the egg, then there is a production of female progeny or there is a development of female plant with, uh, with the X and X chromosomes. And when a Y carrying male gamete fertilizes the egg, then the progeny contains XY chromosome and develops into a male here. Now, these are the structure of X and Y chromosome in Melandrium album. So, here this is the X chromosome and this is the Y chromosome. Here, X chromosome is shorter than the Y chromosome. So, this is long and conspicuous. Now, these two chromosomes have two distinct regions in them. That is, they have homologous region, that is, segment 4. Both the, both the chromosomes have segment 4 here. So, these are the homologous segments, what we call, which is used for pairing with each other during meiosis. So, at that stage, these two pair with each other. So, these are called homologous region. And other than that, whatever is there, those are the differential regions. So, in X chromosome, the differential regions carry genes for femaleness. So, whenever X, uh, two copy of X chromosome is present, they have uh, genes for femaleness which expresses itself and uh, the sex of the progenies will be female. And whenever there is Y chromosome, what happens is there is no uh, like uh, there is no uh, expression of femaleness. Why is that? Because here in differential region of Y chromosome, there are three segments that is being present. Here, the segment one is referred to as female suppressor region. All right. So here on 
X chromosome, the seg uh, segment 5 carries the genes for femaleness. But when there is segment 1, which is the femaleness suppressor, that will suppress the femaleness that is expressed by the set genes in segment 5. So now this, uh, like uh, this not only suppresses the femaleness, it also inhibits the development of female structures in the flower. And there is second or a segment 2, which is called male promoter region on Y chromosome. This initiates the anther development. And there is segment 3, which is called male fertility region. This controls the later stages of the anther development. So here, segment 1 and I mean segment 2 and segment 3, that is the male promoter region and male fertility region are very much essential for the formation of functional fertile anthers. So this is just a description of the previous diagram. So that was about the sex determination in Melandrium album.